Hi Leo, welcome to your April Singles Love Tarot reading. It's Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. Leo, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Leo, let's see what is going on for Singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Male or Female, General Collective Reading. Take it out what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely switch the energy, especially if you're a cross-watcher. It could be readings for you. All right, let's see what we have for you, Leo. We have the warrior and we have self-worth. So we have two, which is about partner, partnerships, unities, choices, decisions. And we have 32, five, which is about change, self-worth. So I feel like Leo here, uh, you've probably been through a lot um, in relationships, but you know, the warrior is kind of like that nine of wands energy. It's like perseverance, keep on fighting, you keep on going. And I think your view on yourself and your self-worth uh, has changed over time. So you definitely could have been through a lot of struggles uh, through relationships and maybe it uh, put a damper on your self-worth. But I think now you're in a place where, you know, you're back in that energy of being an empress, of knowing your self-value, your worth. And yes, you've been through struggles, but it doesn't diminish who you truly are at heart. And I think you're guarding, you know, guarding your heart, being a little safe for your own protection. But yet a part of you doesn't really want to give up on love completely either, I feel. Hmm. All right, so Leah, we're gonna be looking at your energy and the energy around you for this reading. So let's get more oracles here. And Leo, check down below. Everything you need to know is down there. Your playlists are down there. You can check out all your April readings. I post here every Monday and Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, eight different readings a month. Wide variety, love, all kind of readings, uh, money readings, spirit messages, full moon, new moon, tons of readings. So you can check those out as well if you would like to. All right, Leo, what do we have? Oh, new moon promise that just, just came out for Aries. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. Let's get another one here. And tree grounding. So let's get you one more because I just, just got that card of promise. So I want to get you another one just because I feel like it's right. Solitude. Yeah. So I feel like here, um, again, you know, I see kind of two people here. So it's definitely grounding yourself, being in solitude, and definitely regrounding as knowing yourself, value, and worth. Definitely, definitely single right now, that is for sure. And you know, you could have had a lot of new promises that were broken in the past as well. But I feel like, again, you're only going to promise yourself to someone who is worthy of who you truly are. You've been through enough. I think struggles of the past relationships. So you're staying kind of um, in solitude for now until you feel like somebody is worthy of what you have to give. You're not going to promise yourself to anyone, that is for sure. All right, Leo, Leo, Leo. Feel free to go to the community tab. I do post a daily poll every single day. And I have a second channel for Twin Flames. You can check that out as well. Link is below. All right. What else here for Leo? Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So it's almost like this energy of um, take a break. So definitely you're taking a break right now. That is for sure. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Some of you may be overworking. So there's a need here to uh, trust your path. Everything will be fine. You don't have to work so hard or work so much to either prove yourself or get to where you want to be. Your path is laid before you. So you are on the path, so it's not to worry. And also, I feel like you could have someone coming, you know, someone you're meant to cross paths with here coming up in your future. So it's like if you meet somebody here who will support you in every way, shape, or form that you've always wanted to be supported, what would you do without energy? Would, would you run, be scared? Would it be, would you think it's too good to be true? So you're definitely on a break, I feel, uh, that is for sure, from any kind of, um, relationships definitely in single mode all right leo let's see what else we need to know looking at your energy and the energy around you for leo so i'm going to do here leo is i've been doing something a little bit different is taking the bottom energy as the overall energy i'm just going to shuffle a little bit here cut the deck one more okay 
I'm gonna cut the deck here. And overall energy for you is the world right now. So I feel like things are about to shift for you. That is for sure. I'm not sure if you're ready for it. If you sense it or you know it, or are you making it happen? But I feel like something's get, definitely getting ready to shift for you or a new cycle's coming in. And the energy around you is the King of Swords. So this is someone who's going to be very, coming is a king. That is good. It's not a page or a knight. It's a king. So this is someone who's going to be very upfront, honest, blunt, direct to the point. I don't think in a mean, nasty way. Um, it's not going to play games either. This could be someone very successful, smart, analytical as well. So let's see what else the world here. So definitely old cycle ending, new cycle beginning. So you have a new cycle coming in. And I don't know if you're making it happen, like I said, or you may not even be aware of this. This could be moving or traveling as well. So we have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio there. And this King of Swords could be a Gemini. All right, so let's take a look. So we have Justice. So you're getting karmically what you deserve here. That a new cycle is coming in that will karmically give you what you deserve. And I don't know if you're aware of it, but get ready. And we have Libra here. We just had that Libra full moon. So if you miss your full moon and Libra reading, you may want to go back and watch that. Page of Cups. So there's um, Pisces energy. So there's a spark of something new, something romantic. There's the idea. There's the um, intention of it. Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. The Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups. If we get the King of Cups, that's a progression. So we have Pisces, Scorpio. That is for, So you have forward movement and love here. The creation of it. And it's happening. The cycle is happening. It's karmically justified for you for this to happen. I don't even know if you're aware of this, Leo. So <laughs> I'm getting you ready here. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at that. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. This is a vibrational match. You don't see each other. So I don't even think you know this person. We have Libra. Two cards of Libra. Um, let me see what your um, full moon in Libra reading was about here. It was about new beginnings happening. Something, um, a new physical beginning, uh, beginning happening with someone you may be not in um, physical union with. So I don't, but I don't think this is someone that you know. I mean, it could be. So that may not even correlate with this reading, but for some of you, it may. But definitely, we have a match here. Look at that, the King, Queen of Swords. But you don't see each other. Ten of Wands. Laying down the oppression, the burdens of the past. That's what I feel here. Queen of Swords. She's looking away from that. Like, done. I'm done, you know, giving to relationships that did not work for me. Kind of done with that. Broken promises and broken heart. Just done. So, you know, been through a lot of lessons here as well. The star. Wow. Massive healing. Divinely guided energy. Something meant to be here. Wishes and dreams coming true healing so it is meant to be that you are meant to meet this person and move forward in a romantic relationship with this person it's karmically just here it's something that you deserve that uh the universe wants to gift gift to you as well yeah eight of swords i don't think you're going to see it coming here at all you may not even be ready I'm, I'm just i'm just saying that's why trust your path you may not trust it you may think it's too good to be true all right, so let's take a look at the this King of Swords, the energy around you. Energy around you. So even the energy around you can be uh, someone you don't even know. or And they could be around you and you don't know them. Or, so take it how it resonates for you. So we have Aquarius energy here with the star. Nine of Pentacles, someone who was single. They are single also. High Priest, somebody very intuitive spiritual as well they could be very quiet that's kind of what i'm feeling hmm the fool someone's ready for a new start they're ready to try they're ready to jump into a new relationship they're ready to take a leap of faith aquarius energy pisces i feel like this person's made a clean slate in their life as well and they're single and they're ready for a new start as well someone very like I said, intuitive. Eight of Cups. This person's gone on a journey as well. They could have just recently moved into your area, 
but they've definitely gone on a new spiritual journey. That's what I feel here. They've definitely been through a spiritual journey, a spiritual awakening. I kind of seen someone here, maybe a lot of sleepless nights. Maybe they have already been through their midlife crisis, their dark night of the soul, their spiritual awakening. Knight of Swords. Something happening very quickly here. We have Aquarius again. And the Queen of Wands. So that could be you, Leo. For me, it's Aries, but we are... Um, I think this will be coming out on the 18th, so it still could be an Aries season here. So... But that definitely could be your energy. I feel like somehow you're going to meet this person out of the blue somehow. They may um, maybe bump into you or rush into you somehow, some way. Um, so there's definitely a meeting here where, I don't know, they cross your path somehow, either by accident or by out of the blue or some, something like that. But something's happening quickly here with the Knight of Swords. And the Queen of Wands, your energy right here. Again, this person could be... Um, they could work in the law, they could work in the medical field, something where they either work in some sort of communications or something to do with um, decision making, or like I said, military, armed forces, protective services, medical, or something like that. Wow. All right. I'm just, uh, Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. So I want to clarify this Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords. What is this Knight of Swords for this person? That is Aquarius. King of Cups. I'm feel, almost feeling like they're going to see you and be like, who is that? Who is that over there? Because <laughs> this King of Cups is someone, um, Pisces energy, usually, you know, has a love and emotion. Sometimes they hide it, but I'm getting this energy of someone, like I'm seeing the eye and I'm thinking cartoons when their eyes bulge out when they... Like <laughs> when they see the opposite sex or whatever and they're, woo, you know, the eyes bulge out. That's kind of what I'm feeling like almost like love at first sight or infatuation at first sight or something like that. And it's funny because he has the heart right there and you're holding your heart right there. What else for this king of swords? I think I'm feeling like a rush of emotions come over this person when they see you. Like they get this rush. That's what I'm getting with the knight of swords. King of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. So we have two kings here. So this person, um, I mean, four kings would be a divine masculine. So again, this someone, um, they could have been married in the past. They're single now, that is for sure. But when they love, they love whole, wholeheartedly and they're committed. When they commit, they commit wholeheartedly as well. I don't think they break promises either. Let's get one more. So, wow. King, actually, we have three kings there. Now, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. So, I mean, the only one missing is the King of Wands. So, I don't think this person is only going to be after you for one thing, which is kind of a good energy. But we do have a Queen of Wands. So, I mean, if that was the King of Wands, we'd have the Emperor. So, this person may, you know, may be in touch with their feminine side when it comes to passion and desire. Like, they know... Um, how the feminine feels when it comes to that side of things, of passion and uh, desire. The emperor, oh my goodness, I can't make it up. Oh my God, I can't make it up. So this person could be a true divine masculine. They definitely consider the feminine's feelings all the way around the board here. Definitely could be a business owner too, someone very successful. Ace of Wands, exciting new beginning here. But we have the Hermit behind that, which is Virgo. So I think even though this person may be highly attracted to you, they're not going to take action on that, I don't feel. I don't feel at all. So I just want to see here, Leo, what else we need to know about. So I have Aries energy there again. I can't make that up. Wow. So what else do we need to know about this for Leo? About this. I think it's an incoming connection, Leo. Six of Wands, success and victory. So this could be a very, very successful connection for you. Something you've always been wanting and waiting for. Four of Swords. So, you know, you're probably going to think about this. You're not going to rush into it. 
I know you may have to do a little bit more healing work. Somebody definitely is cannot stop thinking about you. Oh, devil. Capricorn energy. Oh, why is that here? So, I mean, that could be a little obsessive. Um, why is that here? This person may maybe just can't stop thinking of you. So we do have the Four of Swords here. Like, you blow their mind. Nine of Wands. I'm feeling like... If you tell this person, well, I have to think about this, because um, there's the nine of wands, which I had over here, which I thought of with the warrior. So you may think about it here, and you may be thinking about your toxic relationships of the past that were such a struggle here. That's what I'm feeling with the devil. And this person, you know, may start to worry, like they can't stop thinking about you, and they may be worried that they may lose a chance with you, Leo. What else do we need to know about this? Two of Pentacles, definitely weighing the pros and cons. Should I, shouldn't I? But we have equal give and take here. So this will be equal uh, reciprocation. So I don't think you have to worry about this one. This is like the minor of justice for me, which is right here. Healing, harmony, balance with the six. Six and the two is the eight, which this person will put in the work. You take the two from the six, you get the four of Pentacles, a very stable grounded energy. What else here for Leo? The Hierophant. Oh my God, this could lead to marriage or commitment. This is a high level, high level connection coming in here. This is the one you've been saving your heart for. The one you've been saving yourself to promise yourself to. So don't second guess it. Don't doubt it. Don't let yourself get consumed by the past negative relationships you've had. This is a big leveling up for you as far as relationships go with the Hierophant Taurus energy. Wow, this is going to shock the hell out of you, Leo. This is the biggest shock, change, revelation, surprise of your life here, Aries energy. You still may, may be a little defensive here. You may run out of fear a little bit here, indecisive, two of swords. And then you may regret uh, five of pentacles, feeling lack, ace of swords, but you will have the awakening here. And then you're going to let the struggles of the past fade away. And step into your emperor's qualities, which will be the match to the emperor. Oh my goodness. Libra Taurus energy. And this is dating, getting to know with three of cups. So this is a high level connection coming in for you, Leo. So allow it to happen. Wow. So let's see here what you need to surrender to. What do you need to surrender to? This is a big change relationship-wise for you. Big, big change. And the cycle is karmically meant for you to happen happen for you with this uh, justice coming out in the world as well. All right, Leo. Advice and guidance for Leo. Surrender to inner peace while cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Wow. Once you surrender to that inner peace, and then this person will finally feel at peace as well because they don't want to miss their chance with their Leo. They know you're their Empress. Emperor and the Empress, the King, Queen of Swords, a match here. Surrender to unhealthy, surrender unhealthy relationships. Yeah, finally leaving those in the past where they belong. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Yep, it's time to make peace with those unhealthy relationships and leave them in the past where they belong. Wow. All right. One more for Leo. I can't make this up. Surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Oh my God, I'm going to start crying. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Oh my gosh, Leo. Wow. Wow. Well, that's what I have. I'm just going to leave it right there, Leo. So again, check your other April readings. Your playlists are below. Uh, check out the other Twin Flame channel if you like to and vote on the daily polls in the past polls as well, Leo. So I am wishing you the best, Leo, and I shall see you next time.